many of you ever had a dog? Some even do have now. Okay, let me tell you what we do to dogs. Uh, did you create a dog? You've given your dog a life to live. You've chosen the type of life he should live. And you didn't create the dog. But you're smart enough to give him a nice life. You've planned his future. That's you who didn't create a dog. And you get surprised that God Almighty who created us should have a life that he has chosen for you to live? Think about this. How many of you ever had a dog? Some even do have now. Let me see your hair. Okay. Do you have a dog? Okay, let me tell you what we do to dogs. Uh, did you create a dog? No. You bought it or someone gave it to you as a gift or I don't even know if you found it in the street and lured it home, you know. <laughs> but somehow you got this dog. And then you have this nice way of treating your dog. Your dog is, should be happy to be in your house. After all, you give him all the nice food. You even have a dress for him. You've given him a name and he should answer that name. You are so, in fact, there are no dogs in the city that are enjoying like your dog. He should be happy to be in your house. That's what you think. You've given your dog a life to live. You've chosen the type of life he should live. You decide when he goes out. You're going to walk him out when you choose, when you want to do it. And then you walk him back, right? And in fact, when you're taking him out, sometimes you put a chain on his neck. Correct? How happy is your dog? <laughs> Do you hear of the happy chickens in, in Europe? <laughs> okay, you don't know about that. <laughs> they say that the, the, the chicken would be sweeter when you eat it if it, if it lived a happy life before, <laughs> before he was killed. <laughs> so they have monitors who go around to check how happy the chickens are. <laughs> Praise God. Okay, so this dog, You've planned his life. Is that correct? I mean, you, you've decided, you've chosen a lifestyle for your dog. And he should be happy. And you didn't create the dog. But you're smart enough to give him a nice life. You've planned his future. You choose his food. You get him the best food. He doesn't need to work for his food. You, I mean, you, you, you've taken the responsibility to go to the mall and get him. In fact, you place a standing order. <laughs> the food is supplied. Your dog is happy. And so you find no reason whatsoever for him to be upset. That's you who didn't create a dog. And you get surprised that God Almighty who created us should have a life that he has chosen for you to live? Think about it. <laughs> you didn't hear that very well. <laughs> if you, who didn't create the dog, could be kind enough and nice enough to give your dog a life, you have chosen the life that he should live. You've planned his future. And you find no reason why he should be upset. Because you've given him the best life. He's enjoying better than other dogs in the city. And you say to him, go and find out what your mates are doing outside. <laughs> They're suffering. I house you. <laughs> you can even jump on my bed. <laughs> if you could think so well and plan the future and the life of your dog, why do you wonder that Almighty God has a plan for your life? <laughs> he created you. You didn't create the dog. I heard some dogs have passports, international traveling passports. <laughs> and some are heirs, heirs of their master. The master didn't give his, uh, his property, his inheritance to anybody else but the, to the dog. There's a parrot, one of the richest parrots in the world. The master left him an inheritance, including the house. I 
amazing. Yes. How we feel for our dogs and our cats. Look at that lady whose cat sleeps on the same bed with her. Nice little meow. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. But God Almighty has a plan for our lives and we're wondering why we should follow it. Listen, he's got a plan for you. Amen. And the best thing will be to discover that plan and to walk in the light of it. Amen. Say amen. amen. And his plan is the best plan. Amen. The Spirit of God is with us. Amen. Building us. Strengthening us. Always let him carry out his ministry in your life. Let him carry out his ministry in your life. You can't do it on your own. You need his help. You need the Holy Spirit's help. A situation that you can't face, he will help you face it. Sometimes you might even have some challenges with your own behavior. Things you'd like to stop. And you don't know how. The Holy Spirit is the answer. He will help you if you let him. 